everybody. Quayo here, welcoming you back to play once more. And I am playing Luigi's Mansion. And we need to get through this room here. Um, whoa, you gotta be careful with these, these guys. These guys can hurt you. Okay, so we see there's a um, baby here. There's coins wrapped around this rocking horse. What do you have to say? Horsey, rocky, horsey. So that means we gotta rock the horse. I think this mouse, yeah, oh, sorry, this uh, dresser. Not this mouse, what am I thinking? This dresser gives you a big heart. I think there's only three of these things, those things in the game, those big hearts. I think I'll show you where the other ones are. Oh shit, now we pissed off the baby. What are we gonna do? Hey, wanna play with me? No, I don't. I don't wanna be... I don't wanna be charged with child abuse. So yeah, I gotta hit this baby with this ball. And we get a scene here. You gave me an owie. This is so sad. Why are we fighting a baby? I mean, how did this baby... How did this baby die? It's really sad. Uh, I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden rambling. Alright, so we now got taken to a different dimension where we get giant rocking horses flying at us. And this baby is fucking huge. So what I guess he's gonna do is he's gonna throw rocking horses at you. And, uh... And then he's gonna throw these balls at you, and one of these is real. I can remember which... if I can find which one... What?! One of these was supposed to be real, what the fuck? That's horse shit. Okay, this time, can you actually play nice? I know... I know how this battle works. Oh, there we go. What happened to the other supposedly real ball? And with that... Oh, shit. Yeah, these guys are a little harder to uh, suck up their health. When you have, like, this is... I guess what you would call a big boss because he takes you to a different area. Most ghosts don't do this. Whoa. Yeah, if you take his health down far enough, he's gonna start throwing more horses at you. Come on. Oh, here we go. Fuck you. Almost have them too. I think if you play the British version of this game, uh, this uh, this baby boss or whatever is a lot faster and is a lot harder. Okay. I thought that was this is the real one. Come on, I only need to do this one more time. At least I better only have to do this one more time. That's right. 
I swear to god, if I had to do that again, I would have been pissed. Mario. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I think, uh, uh, there's like three or so. There's gonna be a heart that appears nearby uh, every big boss. So you have to keep an eye out for them. They're, they're helpful. I think they restore all your health. And now we got a heart-shaped key. And we're talking to the old guy here. Ugh. That was a weak. That was weak. A weak belch. You know, I never got... When I was young and I played this game, I never got that whole pun with the poltergust. Like, I didn't know there another name for ghost was, like, poltergeist. And I did, and I, when, I, when I read uh, pol Poltergust, I was like, what the... How is that even clever at all? And then, uh, you know, as years went by, I figured out Poltergeist was a ghost. I was like, oh! That's what that's a reference to. Ghost Portrificationizer. That, I don't know what is a reference to. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you can catch and do paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Oh, really? Remember that for later. <clears throat> okay, what kind of vacuum like goes in reverse, like blows? A vacuum is supposed to suck. What kind of vacuum is this? Like some sort of magic vacuum? No, I don't know. I can see them pretty well. <laughs> Every time you complete an area, you get to go through this scene. So, the baby we fought was Chauncey. Okay. And that's all the money we have. I don't even think money is important. I think it is if you play like a second time through the game, but... I don't really think uh, it's that important. I suppose I didn't show off that scene where he starts walking to the ghost house and to this mansion after he leaves the lab, but whatever. Now that we have that key, you'll notice, uh, whoa, there's a heart-shaped key over that door. That means we can use this key on this door. Yes, we had a very special key that happens to remove dangerous vines over doors. Dangerous glowing vines. Okay, welcome to area two. I have no idea which room I'm supposed to go in. Um, oh, fuck. That I'm going to have to get used to is the which analog stick does what. Um, we can go down. We can go in that room there, I think. I don't know why that's like that. Uh, okay, uh, let's go down, actually. You gotta be careful with those guys. You're gonna run into a bunch of those guys, and they're really annoying. Which one's the real door? These, some of these doors are fake and then they hurt you. Oh, okay. Okay, I know you're supposed to do something here. Okay, maybe that's not for later. I don't know. Uh, that room is going to be important. I'm pretty sure later on. <coughs> But we won't worry about it now. So we'll go into the other room that... Oh shit. 
Yeah, we start to run into harder ghosts to throw bombs at us. Hey, we got another flashing door. Looks like we're going to need another special key. Oh yeah, I should have demonstrated that. These guys, uh, if you get too close to them, they'll grab a hold of you. So, if that ever happens, that... <clears throat> that's what you gotta do. And if you hadn't noticed, there's a key up here. <sighs> the controls are inverted on this, too. No, I don't want a side step. I want standard. I guess I can't change con inverted controls on this. I do believe it sent us to this room. Oh god. <coughs> god, my allergies. I swear to god. They're beating the shit out of me today. I could hardly open my eyes at work. I think I'm allergic to like dust and shit. Which just sucks because my room is like filled with dust. Six. Yeah, it sucks not sucking these guys up at the same time, cause you only suck one up, they're gonna the other one's gonna start attacking you. But I didn't have a chance to show that. I forget what you have to do with these guys. Okay, I'm... I'm That doesn't help. There we go. We need as much money as we can get, even though we don't I don't even know what it does. You don't not like you buy anything in this game. <coughs> okay, in the room next door. All right, let's do it. Yeah, it's another guy that can grab you. They all come in different shapes and sizes and colors and... I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just tired. Whoa! Shit. Totally missed you there. Fuck! These guys, like, run away quickly. You gotta be careful. You gotta be dexterous. Like that.
Okay, now I know there's something in this room. Oh, here we go. You see that? Oh, there was a switch in that mirror. You see that switch in that mirror? Well, don't touch. It says don't touch. So what do you do in a game when it says don't touch? You touch it. Hey, what do you know? Another button. Let's press it. Are you okay? That was them. Those were the ones who released all of the ghosts from the paintings in my galley. Those fiends. So, that was King Boo. Hmm. So okay, so every room you every room is gonna have a boo in it, and uh, he's, they're gonna hide in like furniture and all that. You gotta tap the furniture, and they're gonna pop out, and you gotta suck them in with your vacuum. It's not as easy as it sounds, cause some of them are really fucking annoying to to defeat. And I guess I'll show this scene now. But... Mario! Mario! Come on, I'm trying to talk to you. I think... Oh, there was a boo flying around here. Save the game. So there's 50 of them we need to catch. I haven't caught in all 50 of them before, but maybe I will in this game, in this playthrough. But for the time being, I think I'm just going to end this video off here. So anyways, thank you for watching. Play once more. Stay tuned for the next part. I'm out, and I'm Quayo, and have a good day.